I'm gonna show you a nice interface called Power Query, and it's gonna make cleaning your data a lot easier. So let's get right into it. First, we're gonna import the data set. I'm gonna use a Wikipedia article on video game sales, but you can use whatever data you want. So first, I'm gonna go to the data ribbon, and then I'm gonna click on the From Web button on the top left-hand corner. And then I'm just going to paste in the Wikipedia article and click on OK. And now it's going to take me to a new window that has all the tables that Excel detects. And in this case, Excel detected four tables in the Wikipedia article. So I have to find out which one is the correct one. So I want to analyze the video game sales from the article. So I'm going to click on document first, but it's not that one because it doesn't have anything about sales. I'm going to click on list. And it seems like this is the right one because it has all the video game names, the sales, and any other information. So I have two options now. I can either click on the load button or the transform data. But I'm going to click on transform data today because I want to clean this data up a bit more. Once you do that, it's going to take you to a completely new window called Power Query. If you work with Power BI before, then this is going to be pretty straightforward for you because it's pretty much the same interface. But if you haven't, then that's completely okay because the Power Query is pretty easy to use. So right off the bat, I can see that Power Query accidentally put the column headers as the first row. So I'm going to get rid of the first row in this data because it's unnecessary and redundant. So what you have to do is go to the button that says remove rows. And then you say remove top rows because you want to remove the first row. And so it's going to show you a new window and you're just going to say one and click OK. And now it looks a lot better because the column headers in the first row are completely gone. now. The cool thing about Power Query is that it records each step as you clean the data. So if you mess up, then that's completely OK because you can easily remove the step. On the right hand side, there's a pane called Applied Steps and it has all the steps that you just did. So just a few seconds ago, I got rid of the first row, but let's just say if for some reason you want to get rid of the first three rows, then all you have to do is go to the settings in the applied steps pane, and then you change the number to three instead of one. And if you want to undo the whole step, then you just click on this red X mark over here. Okay, another thing that bothers me is this empty column over here. I don't want that in my data, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the column title, and then click on remove columns over here and that's automatically gonna remove the column and you can see that it got recorded in the applied steps pane. I'm also gonna change some of the column names to make them look neater. So over here where it says platforms, I don't want the S, it's just an unnecessary letter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on that, right click on it and just say rename over here. So I'm just gonna call it platform. And you can see on the developers and the publishers column, it also has unnecessary letters. So I'm going to do the same thing. Just rename it to something a lot neater. So developer. And for this one, it's going to be a uh, publisher. I know it's getting pretty tedious, but that's the reality of cleaning data. It's going to be a long and dry process, but it's really important to do because if we have cleaner data, then we're going to get better results. For the sales and the release date columns, I want to change the data type because right now it's just the standard text data type. So to change your data type, you have to click on the column title and then over here where it says data type, you click on the drop down arrow and then you say, because sales is a currency value. So I want to change it to a currency data type. So you click on that and now it's the correct data type. But for the other column, the release date column, I want to change it to a date data type because it has all the dates of when the video games were released. So I'm just going to click on the column title and then change it to date. And so now that looks pretty good. Power Query also lets you split up values into separate columns based on a delimiter. So here's what it looks like. I want to get rid of everything after the slash character in the platform column. So I'm going to select that and then right click it and go to where it says split column and then select by delimiter. And this is going to open a new window. And over here you could select a custom delimiter of what character you want to split the column by. So I want to split it by the slash character. So if I click OK, then it's going to separate it into two separate columns where there's a slash character. And if there's not a slash character, then it's going to give me a null value, which is why there's so many null values here. And so now I don't I don't need this extra column that has the everything after the slash character. I'm just going to get rid of that column by just saying right clicking that and removing it. And now the 
the remaining column has the the rest of the values without the slash in it. And just one more thing, I'm gonna rename the column back to platform because when I split it by the delimiter, it automatically assigned a number to the column title. But I don't want that, so I'm just gonna change it back to platform. The data looks a lot more clean now, but we gotta load it back into Excel. So over on the left hand corner, I wanna click on the button that says close and load, and that's gonna take me back to the main Excel interface. And so here I could just create my own pivot charts and do whatever analysis I want to do. But if I want to go back into the Power Query editor because I missed something in my data cleaning, then I could go to the query ribbon over here and then click on the edit button on the top left hand corner. And that's gonna take me back to the Power Query. And so here I could just transform the data again. Okay, that's all I got for this video. Hopefully you found the Power Query tool useful. And if you're still here, then I know you want to learn more about Excel. So make sure to check out this video on creating a dynamic dashboard card in Excel to take your visualization skills to the next level. So I hope to see you there and thanks for watching.